Hello everyone. I would like to first of all to thank the organizer of this event for inviting me here today. As you can see on this screen, our topic today is casual cost optimized convergent causal consistency in social network systems. Casual means causal consistency under dynamic replication protocol. We thought it would be useful to divide our talk into four main sections. First, let's start by giving you something about the introduction and overview of this research. We are going to introduce the idea of the data replication and different classes of the consensus models. Then, consider the problem of the enforcing converging causal consensus for social media and the posts. With satisfying this requirement, CareDrop is the protocol that proposed to achieve the total system cost optimization. We will present the system architecture in CareDrop. Next. We will also provide the simulation results and discuss the, some interest points. Finally, the, we will summarize the, a brief statement of the, the conclusions. In distributed georepic system, data replication can provide full tolerance and low latency for better availability and performance by making multiple copies of multiple regional sites. Why do we need to replicate multiple copies? The first advantage is to increase reliability. If the primary data server is done, standby data server still works. The second one is to improve the performance by reducing communication delays. Another one is the for higher scalability. Simply speaking, replication can prevent overloading a single server and avoid communication latencies. However, what is the main problem in providing the replication? That is how to keep the multiple copies consistent. This is an overview of the some well known consensus models. The vertical sequence is based on their synchronization degrees. On the topmost model, strict consistency is the strongest consensus model. Under strict consistency, a rider operations are instantaneously visible to all the processes. And one global time order is required. However, it does make sense that in a distributed environment. This is impossible to implement in distributed systems. Our concentration is the causal consistency. Causal consistency has to maintain the causal relations. More details will be discussed afterwards. On the bottommost model, eventual consistency requires that update operations that are guaranteed to propagate to all the replicas. So eventually, the old model modified operations to that item will return the last updated value. Causal consistency defines causal related rider operations must be seen by all the processes in the same order, but concurrent rider operations may be seen in a different order on different machines. If the two rider operations are causally related, which means the one rider operation comes after a read operation, that read operation returns the value of the, the other rider operation. Let's see two examples. In figure A, this data store is not causally consistent. Two write operations in P1 and P2 are causally related. Because value B is a result of the computation for the read operation to read the value A from the variable X in P2. However, P3 violates that ordering because it reads value A after reading value B. In figure B, the, the data stored is causally consistent. Because the right operations in P1 and P2 are concurrent. Causal consistency can improve the user experience because actions appear to everyone in the correct order. Consider this string of the posts to show the causality is important on social networks. In the West Coast server, first, Alice posts I've lost my Wendy ring. A few minutes later, she comments, Found it upstairs. And then Bob's comments, I'm glad to hear that. In the West Coast server, it received all the replicas from the West Coast. However, Alice's comments has not appeared during the read time period. It looks like a little confused. Let's now look at the motivation and the problem statement of our study. We are going to discuss the problem of the convergent causal consensus for posts and comments in social media platforms. The motivations come from the following reasons. 
Causal consensus retains intuitive causal relationships. This feature is critical in social networks. It improves the user experience because by enforcing causal consensus, events appear to each user in the correct order. However, the ordinary the causal consensus doesn't support the convergence property on concurrent updating operations. So update conflicts collated to the replicas that having different values for the same key in key value stored systems. Causal plus consensus, we call the CC plus, requires data replicas that converge to the same state under concurrent updates from the different clients. Currently, the most existing CC plus protocols are based on four replication. Also, dynamic replication and placement can enhance the system availability in time-varying environments. A number of the causal plus the consensus protocols have been, protocol, have been proposed for partially replicated key value storage systems. Most of them are based on the static replication. None of them can simultaneously satisfy the following requirements in social media systems. First, all the replied comments under a post follow causal consensus. Second, each individual post may be replicated to the other different data storage nodes. When concurrent updates to a post are made in different replicas, comments of the each replica of the post could be altered in the same sequence. Third, each post would be dynamically replicated to the geographically diverse data stored nodes in different time periods according to the user requirements. Our purpose is to devise a cost-optimized protocol to enforce CC plus the protocol for posts and comments within a data center or across the data centers in a non-fully geo-replicated storage and satisfying the above the three requirements. This page presents an example of the implementing CC Plus protocol for posts and comments in Facebook. Alice posted a car image. This image was replicated to another data store server. Common 1 and Common 2 happened concurrently. Common 3 happened after comments 1 and 2. Later, when different users tried to access the different replicas of the post, they were observed the comments with the same order under causal consistency. We propose a casual approach to achieve the, the three requirements mentioned before. Here highlights the, the main contributions of the casual. Casual can achieve the CC plus for all the replying the comments corresponding to a post with the unique key or for different objects with explicitly happened before the relationships in social applications by a one key multiple values store system. Also, CAJOP is adapted to the dynamic data replication and incorporate the CC plus across the storage layer of the replicas and caches to reduce the node transmission costs. Here presents a high level of the system design of the CAJOP. CAJOP is working in a distributed one key and multiple value data store to manage a set of the data objects for social media platforms. A key corresponds to an image or a clipped post. A value presents a one comment replied to a post. Each value corresponds to one update operation. Multiple values of a key are put into a value column of the causal ordering. Each key or value is bound to the its dependence metadata. When users request access to a post object, multiple values in a value column will return as the result. If a replica server receives an updated value VU, but some happen before the updated values are not ready, VU will not be inserted into value column until those happen before the values that are visible. The system architecture of the CADROP is presented here. All the data centers are fully connected by WANs. In each data center, there are multiple web servers. Each web server serves 
the data access demands from the one geographical region and connects to its own data server, which is called the host server of that connected web server. Data objects could be replicated and synchronized between the data centers or within a data center. In case of the protocol, the dependence metadata element is the tuple structure. A dependence tuple includes three entries, initial server ID, scalar time step, and the list of the replica server destinations. The client layer of the catalog provides three operations for clients to post, to update, and to retrieve the data item. The storage layer also provides three operations to respond to three different operations from the client layer. Catalog incorporates proactively the dynamic replication COP with the cache control as the underlying replication strategy. COP is the cost award optimized data replication strategy proposed in 2019. Here is a brief overview of the COP replication strategy. COP is used as underlying replication strategy in catch of the protocol. COP replication considers a time slot model for data resource allocation in the data store system. It includes the cache mechanism to reduce the nuclear transmission cost. COPD adapts a statistical prediction approach to learn the access number of the each data object at each next time slot in every stored location. The output of the COPD approach is the replication placement solution to a cost optimization problem. The performance evaluations are realized as the following. The data store is deployed in 36 area zones, include the same event simulator to your key. Each data center is composed of the four data nodes servers. We evaluate the catch of the protocol for replica placement of the data objects, compares the two cases CS with the different predetermined numbers of the replica data centers with cache control. Actually, the result called the replication strategy. Cadre protocol is equivalent to CAS protocol. We vary the put rates from the 0.05 to 2.8. We use realistic Twitter traces as the data object workload. The simulation is performed for a period of the 20 days in a time slot interval of 30 minutes. The prices of the storage classes and network services are specified based on the Amazon Web Service in 2019. Let's use some figures to illustrate the performance evaluations. Here, the four figures present the result of the storage cost, network transmission cost, transaction cost, and the total system cost. Although the cache of a protocol of the cache control incurs the network transmission cost and storage cost slightly, it obviously performs with the lowest total system cost compared to cache protocol with the different number of the replica data centers. In order to further evaluate the cost effectiveness of the catch of the protocol, we figure out three different performance comparisons. The top table presents the evaluation results. Their definitions are shown in the bottom equations. Delta saving is used to show how cash mechanism improves the catch of the based on the cost improvement rate. Delta Inc which is the cost increase rate that illustrates the effectiveness of the catch of the compared to the OPT solution. OPT means that the underlying replication strategy for catch of the runs in optimal placement solution. The OPT solution is an optimal replication approach and is proposed in the replication strategy. It already knows the exact temporal and spatial the data object access patterns in the future. Therefore, the OBD solution can figure out the optimal object placement for each data object per time slot. Delta Inc. plant, which is the second increase rate, presents the comparison between the catch of and OPT without cache control in steady state. This page presents the results to compare the catch of the with another converging causal consensus, Kokako algorithm. However, Kokako is not able to achieve CC plus on social media posts with multiple comments from different users. Here, replica factor IF value means the number of replica data centers. 
as the I value decreases, the overhead of storing depends metadata decreased in terms of the storage cost. But the volume of the transmitting dependence metadata over networks increase in terms of the network transmission cost. For Coca-Cola, the transaction costs are apparently higher than those of the cadropter because the Coca-Cola involves more acknowledgement messages and implements the access requests. The storage cost of the catch of the are lower than those of the catch of the in lower the IF value. But Coca Cola the storage cost is higher in higher IF value. Let's summarize the conclusions and present the future work. We propose a new the cost optimized protocol that ensures the CC plus the for all the replying the comments corresponding to an object. With a unique key or for different objects with explicit it happens before the relationships in social applications by a one key multiple value storage system. Because of the, the potential of the dynamic replication strategy for system cost savings, we adapt the consistent protocol to catch up the for our the proposed replication algorithm called in optimize the the total system costs. Due to the potential of the cache mechanism in performance benefits, we incorporate the cache mechanism into catch up to reduce the network transmission costs. The future work is the focused on extending the catch up the algorithm to provide photons and support data shading within each data center. We would like to explore the partition photons the mechanisms to design a highly reliable systems in the case a partition goes down the in a data center. The major references in this research are listed here. I hope you can have gained an insight into the main idea of the catch of the. Thank you for being here for my presentation.